Hey everybody, Buff Juice here, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. Now, the last episode... Oh, by the way, I'm trying to become the Norman King of Sicily. Uh, the last episode, I did nothing. I sat on... sat in Sardinia, lost that war, because he just decided he wanted it, and waited for my allies to do something, because I couldn't contest it. And they finally did. And I've also got another alliance with the King of Asturias. So, now... I'm going, I'm feeling pretty confident about, okay, Vigdis has died, that's a shame I suppose, um, now I'm feeling fairly confident about, oh yes, please, become independent, destroy the Carling Blob, yes, I'm feeling quite confident about how this war is going to end up, as long as, what are you, where are you going, where, where are you going, ah, uh, stop it, or, yeah, go kill them now again. Wait, stop! No! Right, where are the... Where are the Astorians? We had a great time together. Me and that guy. I... Well, I was feeling confident about it, but now the AI is kicking in. And it's doing nothing. Oh, they're being wiped out by them. Okay, fair enough. That's fine. This is all fine. This is all fine. Ah, uh, 20 men. You're meant, to, you're meant to have a huge army. That's why I married your daughter. That was your dowry. I would... Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. I want more kids. Um. Yeah. Bloody hell. Or at the very least, can Lothringia collapse into the free kingdoms? And then could the king of Italy... Who's going to be king of Italy? You. You. You better not be ambitious, and you better not try and take my land. That's what will happen if, uh, if given the chance. Now, I mean, I have, I'm, I'm gaining and losing no money a month. Why did the Carling War have to break out? Seriously, that was fine. And is this a claim on the actual claim on Burgundy? Uh, yeah, they want to. Or is it the Duchy of Burgundy? I imagine it's for the kingdom. Which will be the epic blob of... Actually, could they form the Holy Roman Empire from that? Maybe. That'd be bad. That'd be really bad. I would not be able to... I'd be between the Byzantines and the Holy Roman Empire. That would not be very fun. But yes, more Germans. Being... <laughs> okay, I'll let her out. Do I? I don't know. I'm just like, oh yes, I'm, I'm nice and charitable even. I say to this person that I've got imprisoned for 34 years. Oh. Oh, I feel bad now. I might just release you. Because no one wants to save you. And you're insignificant. I'm going to release you from prison. Because I feel really kind of bad that uh, I've had her imprisoned for most of her life. Maud. Who's Maud? Someone. Why have... What? I don't know. I've got someone's random widow. Sorry about that. That's just me smacking my face with the glass. Because I forgot how to drink, apparently. So I missed my mouth and hit my teeth. So yes, I'm currently, again, doing nothing. But kind of winning the war. As long as... How? Who is Who is going to revolt? You're all occupied anyway. What is the revolt risk for that? Surely it's... Low, okay. Um, uh, become trusting. Okay, that's not... She's a she's a bastard. I might have to have her killed anyway. So that's fine. Now, his army's completely destroyed. Cool, he likes me more. This is good. Yes, his army is destroyed. He's an unknown location. All his war score should be... Yes, occupied. In fact, if I just... No, he won't accept demands. I'm rapidly losing the prestige game from this just because of the... of, of how little I'm doing. Uh, I've gained... I've, I've become content. It's not the best thing to have, but it's not the worst, I suppose. 30 gold, 30 piety. Uh, I'm going to lose 30 gold. Rome, do you like me more because... No, you still not a fan. Fair enough. So yes, once this has been deoccupied... Or liberated. I'm ill. That's not good. 
um, then I should win because he has no army. So once he's lost his occupation of this, I'm not dead. That's good. Uh, once he's lost his occupation of this, I should win. It should just go up to 100% because there's no army to kill. No! 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 Oh, why? It was so low! It was so low! No! Oh, I hate the AI. I really hate them so much. Why couldn't they be this retarded when they were invading me? Oh, uh, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, <laughs> how's this war going anyway? Is it about to end? I'd love it if it was about to end. Oh, it's almost about to end. Just, just give in. Give Lotharingia what it wants. You cannot defeat the blob, or, yeah, you definitely cannot defeat the blob. But you had to sacrifice the army that was helping me, wouldn't you? Before you realised that. 100%? 96%. Yeah, that's... Lothring is getting burgundy now. That's just the way of it. But that's fine. I mean, does he have four sons? Will they be equally distributed? He will get Lotharingia, he will get Italy. Okay, so one of them will get two kingdoms. And I'd be interested to see how that works. And hopefully, 6,000 prestige, bloody hell. Yeah, hopefully, they uh, won't form the Holy Roman Empire. Because I need them to split up. Yes, like me more. My ally, who has currently done very little. I love how the uh, these Frankians are still involved in this war, even though they have no legal obligation to be. They're not my ally. I'm not, I, I, died. she died. The calling wife died. Gave me a daughter, which is good of her. Um, she's not doing much in the way, even though she's lost full, and I'm lost full. Hang on. Okay, is that, it could be, okay, that's, Luffering is, uh, gavel kind. Burgundy is elective. Okay. Right, so that could just break up. Cool. But the war is over now. So my allies are coming to finish the job. The, Uma the Umayyads are just in Italy for some... What the hell's going on here? Oh, they've gone all the way round. <laughs> I see. Wait, no. Oh my ads, who are you attacking? Defending against the Duke of Salerno. This one guy has doom stacks on the way. One gold again. Oh, I'm rolling in it. I really am. Now, can this guy actually besiege this place? He can just, he can't anymore. He's lost that. But Astorius is on the way. Oh, it's finally going to be over. After like 15 years. Unless there's another war and they piss off somewhere. Or they just go on holiday. And decide they don't want to help me. I've lost some technology points. That's not the worst thing ever. I've gained relations with my ally. The King of Asturias. And if she could just give me a kid. That'd be great. That'd be really good. I'd be really happy with that. Yeah, like me more. Cool. He likes me a fair amount now. I might move this guy. 100%. 240 improved relations. Yeah, that's not going to go down. Um... So instead, I'm going to start looking for the future. Now, I have a claim on up here, which I don't care about. Leon is also up there. And so Arborea is there. Now, the question is, do I swear fealty to Italy just to get Arborea? Or do I look to swear fealty to the Byzantines? Because they could just invade me anyway. They have all the men in the world... 23,000 men, yeah, not they're not a chance I could hold off them. Not unless I had all the Carlings on my side. So, considering Sicily is the de jour property of the Byzantines, it might be wiser to go with them. Because then they can't take it away from me, just from invading. Unfortunately, the Duke, uh, the Emperor can just revoke Ducal titles. So I will have to be careful about that. 
but I've never actually known him to do it unless he has a reason to. So unless I was a heretic, such as being Catholic, that might be reason enough. See, that is that's the issue. If I go with Lotharingia, I could lose my land to the Byzantines. Another another merchant caravan. How do they get to me? Hagos. Show me Hagos. Is he useful? He is not. Cool. Thank you for the random doorstop. See, I'm slowly... That, this fleet's just there. And he's on. He's in an unknown location. If he just dies now, I'd be very disappointed because I want the money. Because, I mean, I have a claim on Neopolis. Neopolis has 1,600 men. And this guy over here, who is, for some reason, independent in the middle of this lot. Okay, so I'm looking at... If I have 3,000 men, I'm fairly confident that I will be able to take Neopolis, which is good. Oh, there we go. Kingdom, King Humbert of Lotharingia is inherited Kingdom of Lotharingia, Burgundy, and all of that. So, they have split off. So, where is the king of it? Ha! <laughs> okay. Oh, no. He might be dead soon. I don't want to kill him. I want to kill him, but I don't really want to kill him, if you know what I mean. I can't kill him. Who does... See, oh, no. If this guy's ambitious, he's going to get it all back. But if he's not, I might be fine. You know what? I think I might vassal I might swear fealty to the to the king of Italy. Just so that cuz the fact that the Byzantine emperor could just oh yes, white piece. Ha, <laughs> piss off. I want your money. And you're going to give it to me because you get no, you're not going to have any arm no. Please. Stay. I don't have anywhere near enough men to take this back yet. Uh, you know what? I am gonna, I'm gonna get him to suppress revolts and imprison himself. It doesn't work. <laughs> okay, what if I get a different guy? Suppress revolts on him. 62%, okay, yes. Bollocks. See, I knew this would happen. Help me. Help me, please. Send chips. Yes, honor your obligation and come to help me. In all my wars. Because <laughs> I currently have no land. <laughs> what is what is going on here? Who are they? Sardinian rule. Oh, them. They've just landed ships. They don't have enough men to, uh... Okay, cool. They only have nine ships. So they can only transport 900 men at once. Which should overwhelm me, but apparently isn't. Okay, who is leading this army? Because they are amazing. You're really not that amazing. I thought you'd be much better. What if I white pieced? Can I white piece? No. Surrender. Gets strong. Okay, I would lose my character at the moment. I'd go to her. She's actually quite good, considering. But then again, she did have a great teacher, so that's something. I will take over that, because I'm a fortune builder, so I'm actually alright. Yeah, I'm going to educate her for the last year. And hopefully I'll have a better say over what happens to her now. See, this is what I mean. The, the Byzantines are just expanding as fast as they can. Uh, I could educate my daughter. Yeah, you know what? Why is she Germanic? Because she's Germanic. Demand religious conversion. There we go. Problem solved. And she's died. <laughs> is she a demon child? She might be a demon child. She's submitted the Catholic faith. That's good. If only you could just yell at kids and tell them what to believe. If only people did that in real life. Bastard can cause a lot of trouble. Uh, I'm going to gain the trait honest. Because I don't really want to kill her yet. Oh, what? Oh, my my wife cheated on me. Wait, no. 
I cheated on... I don't know. But my wife is pregnant. And a daughter was born. She is definitely a bastard. She is not mine. But unfortunately, she's going to take my land anyway. So, I just needed a son. I wouldn't mind if it, if it was a son. Privileged relations. Come on, like me. Please, look at what I've done. I've converted Tyrant. Am I? Oh, yes, I, imprisoned, I tried to imprison the guy. Do, do other people not like me for that as well? Hang on. Do you not like me for that? Okay. Apparently only the Pope cares that you're a tyrant. I suppose it makes sense. He's meant to be the Holy Father. And my wife died. Wow. I am not a good husband if everyone I love dies. King Hugh of Scotland. I don't want that. Bulgaria. Um, are there any good traits that I want my kids to have? She's too old. That sounds really shallow, but it just it's, it's just the way it is. Um, ooh. Now the question is, let's see what happens. Do I still keep my allies? They're already committed to the war. I don't know if that's changed or not. It never used to. Your wife would die and then you'd lose your allies. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Because at the moment I'm gaining allies left, right and centre here. So, I might just go with Bulgaria. Because she's actually an alright wife. And then, I'll have an immediate, immediate ally there. Call to arms. Please. No! Who are you? Moravia? What? Oh. Yeah, okay. You call to arms. I joined yours. Oh. So that's interesting. Bulgaria and Great Moravia are going to combine, although there isn't actually much of Great Moravia left. So that's cool. Now, as it is, I'm not besieging this, so I'm not winning. Um, become gregarious. That'd be great if you could. No pressure or anything, just just become become more social. Right, okay. I have waited too long. I'm going to hire a mercenary company. I won't be able to hire them for long though, but long enough so that I might be able to win a war, at least. I don't have anywhere near enough sh uh, ships to get to Cagliari, but... I will at least be able to get the money from winning this. No, I'm going to ignore that. I want you to be weak. So when I eventually do join you, I can do what I want. Yeah, Midas touched. That She's a pretty good heir, considering. Okay. I could marry her off to my enemy. my The son of my enemy. Uh, Prince of Aquitaine. Oh, is Aquitaine split off then? No, it hasn't. Okay, that's weird. Um, the Doge of Venice. These are all matrilineal, which is good. Going ahead. I'm gonna go with King Hamil Liberator, who despises me, but is still willing to marry off his son. And right, okay. Matrilineal betrothal. He is a long way down the line, but he is still in the line of succession. So I could end up with a possible return to Brittany through marriage, which would be pretty good. I'd be fine with that. Yep, cool. And I f I'm pretty sure once I take this last holding, that'll be 100%. Because there's no way for him to not lose at that stage. Yes! Thank you! Bring your army over here so I can crush it. Thank you! That's amazing. I wasn't. I would have lost that war otherwise. Because I wouldn't have had the fleets to go over and crush them. So he brought his army over. So now I can kill them. 
which I think is very considerate. But he still owns the land, which means I will slowly lose. So I do need ships. But am I able to white piece out? I can. I'll lose. He will le lose. Thing. I'm going to do that. White piece out. Because I don't want to risk it, really. Can I imprison him? No. I could have conscripted merchant ships. Why didn't I do that? Oh well. I'm just going to win this war now. Should got to 100%. Fifth, what? Offer peace. Enforce demands. Uh, you don't have an army. You don't have any land. You've disappeared. Okay. You're going to you're going to win, are you? That's what you think's going to happen. All right. Well, I'm going to be cheeky here and use my mercs to try and take Neopolis now because if I rush it his larger army will be out of morale and I should be able to wipe him out which is what's happened and I've killed the count himself and now his son is in charge so it could be. He might not even have an alliance anymore. Which would be great. He doesn't. Oh, that is perfect. That could not have gone better. Right. Next time, I will hopefully, gradually, win the war against this guy. And I should... I'm just going to send this army into there now and crush this. I should get Neopolis as well. So on top of the Duchy of Brittany, which I don't control, and the Duchy of Sardinia, which I don't really control either... I will have the Duchy of Capua, which will actually be land I control. So that'll be something. I mean, I might just do it in this episode if this is the way this is going to go. I think that, I mean, that was so lucky that he would be leading a force and I'd wipe him out. Well, I could really do with uh, winning that war because I'm gradually losing money and I don't have the uh, troops to deal with that. Anyway, yes, that's for next time. So, see you next time.